Coming up next, day four in my private tour of Romero Brito's workshop. Hey, good you? to see so you. Nice I'm so you glad I bumped you. Thank you for having me. Awesome. I'm glad that we bumped into you yesterday and get to come in. So, so talk to me about the studio. How long have you been here? Yes, this warehouse in here I have for about 10 years before just using it as a place to do framing and shipping and everything. Mm -hmm. But it's not really open to the public. So it's just really for me to work and, and for my staff to well, come. Well, thank you so much for letting me come in. Oh, no, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Uh, no, not too long around. ago, I had here the governor of California with Maria. They come here with the kids when to paint this? with me. Just recently? This was like uh, in the beginning of the year. Okay. There's an image in there that I did was for a piece uh, for the CD cover of Michael Jackson that he wanted to raise funds called What More Can I Give? And it was to raise funds for the victims of 9 11. And that Carlos says Santana. love Michael Jackson. Yeah, and that, you know, this was just a blow up piece, you know, that was done, and he signed that. And it was pretty cool. And then he ended up doing also a party for me in Neverland. You. you know, I did this, uh, the pyramid uh, in Hyde Park in London. When, when was this? Last year? Two or seven. Uh, you know, I ended up meeting also, you know, Prince Charles, and, you know, he's been very yeah. you know, nice. And he invited me actually during the summer to go and spend a week with the family. The Diana, did you do that one? I did a series of portraits, you know, for. I also did the opening ceremony of the Super Bowl, and I had my work in, a, in this, you know, exhibition that happened since early 1800 mm -hmm. at the Louvre Museum. And you did the, the cruise ship here, I yes, see. Yes. A big uh, installation. Yeah, I did a very large installation at one of the ships, the Royal Caribbean, was a $700 million ship. Yes, I did this piece for Senator Tad Kennedy, mm -hmm. and uh, he was an amazing man. And then next to it, there's, uh, you're on the White House. Yes, on there was the, you know, the, the Easter, Easster, Easter egg hunt, right? Easter egg hunt, yeah. And I was going to be part of the presidential library as well. Do so you work seven days a week? I work every day, you know. <laughs> but I, I mean, I really love what love I do. It. I love what I do. and. Uh, so I don't feel like this work is really, you know, it's like breathing for me, you know. Yeah, they ask me, oh, you, your art is colorful because you are from the tropics. And usually I also say that, you know, yes, you know, the environment can have a huge influence in, in someone's mm -hmm. life. But I also I think there's a lot of time it's like the person too can mm -hmm. change your environment. So mm -hmm. I think it's a mix between my experience of me being Brazilian mm -hmm. and also my wish of bringing colors to my life. And this was an invitation of the party I was telling of Michael Jackson that he talked a little oh, bit about nice. and the whole thing. What has been kind of one of your most memorable things in the last, say, year that really stands out? It was the mind? most incredible thing was to get a call from space. And he said, Romero, I'm calling to inspire you to do a painting. And I was, please tell me how the space. And it was incredible. I was so excited. That's impressive. It was That's really, really impressive. I mean, how many hours a day whenever you're actually here? Do you try to spend, I mean, is it kind of time that's split up? Yeah, it's a mix of calls and distraction. I try to really be in schedule, yeah. and I have appointments and everything, but, yeah. you know, I also don't want to be, like, too mechanical, you know yeah. what I mean? When I'm here, I have music going, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I go and have tea, or mm -hmm. I walk around, and I do things around the studio, so it's... You know, I, I really enjoy being here. This is Betty Boop, right? So, is this yes. a whole series that you're doing for... For yes, Disney, yes. And I did in the past a collaboration with Disney, so this is my second collaboration that I'm going to be doing, so it's very exciting. That's great. It's like on Mickey Mouse in here, on his ear, mm -hmm. you know, most of the time it's all black, so I end up bringing, you know, my signature, what mm -hmm. I do in my work. Well, can we talk a little bit about Art Basel? I mean, obviously I came down from New York to attend Art Basel, and it's really exploded over the last six years. So can you kind of give your input and, on how, you, how it's made you feel and how it's affected um, really your work and selling and the exposure just because of the growth in Art Basel? Well, I think it's so great anyway, any kind of art happening that happening in a city or anywhere is mm -hmm. a, a very, very uh, positive. And people, um, they really have a time to dedicate to go and see art. You mm -hmm. know? and to go to the galleries. I think mm -hmm. for the arts, it's a win-win situation. It's a wonderful thing, yeah. Yeah, it's a wonderful city. thing. I think it's good for everybody, mm -hmm. you know, because people start seeing Miami, not just a place to go for vacation, party, mm -hmm. but a place that you can also have, you know, like culture, or go to see a piece of art. Your sculptures are in so many different places. And I noticed, can you talk a little bit about the big sculpture that you did 
um, the corner is at the time, I can't remember the name of the building. Yeah, Fifth and, and Alton Road. Yeah, yes. that giant sculpture that you just did. Yes. How yeah. did that come about? Well, you know, the developer is, is you know, he loves my work, Jeffrey Berkowitz, and, uh, you know, he commissioned me several of the sculptures, and he asked me to create this piece of art, mm -hmm. to be the signature of his building there, and for me mm -hmm. it was incredible. I, I went to Philippe last night for um, dinner, and I walked in and I saw the giant uh, Madonna. <laughs> Painting. Yeah. So, what other projects do you have coming up that you can talk about besides this? Well, I'm doing. Work? I'm doing actually uh, like 18 huge monumental sculptures for uh, Singapore, and also I'm working on with the gallery Opera from Paris that mm -hmm. is going to be opening a place all about my work in Singapore as well. And I'm doing um, the uh, the symbol the, of Singapore for for them to promote the country as well. You know, I'm putting a sculpture at Time Warner Center. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm doing also... Time Warner um, in New York. Yeah, in New York City. Mm -hmm. You know, Steve Ross had commissioned me to create this whole, to paint the stadium. If you haven't a chance to go to the stadium, you're going to see parts of the stadium already painted with my work, the Lynch Shark Stadium. You've done a lot, obviously, with charities over the years. How, how mm -hmm. do you want to be remembered? I mean, in your lifetime, when you look back. Oh, I mean, oh what, my God. How, well, I would like to sure that my art is about love. I want to bring images of hope and peace and inspiration. I don't want to bring images of despair nowhere to nobody. Thank you so much for no, you no know, taking time to give me a tour and maybe next time I can come and sit with you and watch you paint more. Yeah, that would be great. Uh, You're more than welcome. Come Thank over. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Always. And sadly, right after that, I'm going to um, have to get back to the hotel, pack, get ready to go back to New York and uh, kind of reflect on how quickly these last three days have gone. Can't believe it's already over. Good, thank you. Okay.